Good morning. It's wonderful to be visiting with you this morning. Um, and it's a privilege to be able to discuss this topic with you. And our topic this morning is why do bad things happen to good people? So what I want to bring back another question to you, which people have bounced off me. And that is, what have I done wrong to deserve this? And I'm sure each one of you have asked that question. Um, let me put it in a different way. Have you ever been summoned to the office of the principal or even to a department head uh, and been called and said, I need to speak to you? What is your first response? Um, oh, goodness, what have I done wrong now? Because that is the normal human response. We say we must have done something wrong. If, if somebody's been in an accident or they've been hijacked or something bad has happened to somebody, we, our first question is, what did they do? They must have done something for that to happen to them. But folks, you see, that is because we believe that God is an angry God that is sitting up there way beyond where we can see and he's an angry God and he has a stick and every time we do something wrong he wants to whack us and that's not the truth that's what religion teaches us but we are not going to bring religion over to you we want to come to you with a relationship we want to, what we have to offer you is Jesus Christ has come to be in a relationship with you. He wants to walk alongside of you. You see, rain falls and it falls on everybody. Good and bad people. And I want to tell you, people are all wonderful. God made them. In Psalm 139, we read that he handcrafted each one of these people when they were still in their mother's womb. He was involved because he had a plan for every single one of you that are watching this video. He had a plan for your life. That's why you're here in 2022. God's got a plan for your life. But you know, each one of us has a dream as we're growing up. And little girls dream about being a bride one day. So if you watch them, they play dress up. They wear towels over their heads to have long veils. Or they wear mummy's petticoat on their head. I don't know whether you girls have ever done that. My girls did. I have three girls. And they did that. Carrying little bunches of flowers that they picked in the garden. Boys have a dream of being a, an astronaut one day. So they build spacecraft in the back garden with boxes empty boxes or they want to be a rally driver so they have these little cars that they build those are dreams that are built into our hearts and sometimes because of our broken world that we live in we grow up in abusive homes we grow up in homes where dad leaves um, and he leaves mum to raise the children and she's struggling to just make ends meet sometimes we 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 have our parents die and we have to go into foster homes. There are different scenarios um, and you have to fend for yourself and you believe that you've done something wrong. No, that's not the case. But we are here today because everything that you have had to endure has brought you and made you into the person that you are today. And I'm here with good news to tell you that God's got a plan for your life. He has, he has built all these things that have happened to you into your character. He's given you strength. And these things have made you who you are today. And you know what? He wants to give you a new start. He wants to come into a relationship with you so that he can turn these things that have stolen 
your dream away from you and he wants to switch on the light and he wants to say to you, I want to give you hope and I want to give you your dream back because that is possible. Don't lose your dream. Thank you.